Hello, my name is Tara Kachaturoff, and I'm the host of Michigan Entrepreneur, where we feature businesses from startup to stellar. This week, we have as our special guest, Darren Hitz. He's the founder of Adventure Bachelor Party. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. We're really happy to have you on the show today because you have one fantastic company, and I want everybody to hear about it. I was really impressed when I came, uh, uh, came along and, and saw it, and I want to tell people that I found you, actually, while I was reading an article in Detroit Cranes recently. It was the uh, 20 in their 20s, which was an article about young people in the Detroit area who are making a big splash in the business world. And I was really excited when I came across your company because it's truly unique. I've never seen anything like it, and it's fun. So why don't we, you tell us a little bit about what you do at Adventure Bachelor Party. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm real excited to be here. Um, like I said, my company is Adventure Bachelor Party. Uh, basically, what we do is um, plan bachelor parties for guys that are looking for something a little different than the, uh, the traditional uh, bachelor parties. So someone might want to go skydiving in San Diego or whitewater rafting in West Virginia or cattle driving in Texas and uh, they would come to us and have that all organized everything from basically what we tell them is when they get off the plane uh, we take care of you from you know Friday until Sunday so the transportation the dinners the hotels the adventures the various mementos from t-shirts and wood engraved pieces uh, we would handle. Interesting. Um, sure, sure. sure. Uh, basically, uh, back in college I had uh, gone to Notre Dame with uh, you know, a group of my friends. A senior year I was uh, actually sitting on the couch reading uh, an article in Maxim magazine um, which is all geared towards guys and things like that. So it had mentioned adventure bachelor parties and had listed a bunch of different outfitters from shark hunting to cattle drives to whitewater rafting. And that had kind of sat in the back of my head. And about uh, around two years ago when I started the company, my brother and I were out uh, brainstorming on uh, different companies that we could start. That was something that I kind of always wanted to do. I just didn't know what it was going to be. And we were originally thinking um, about different, you know, bus transportations for bachelor and bachelorette parties around the Detroit area because there's all these little enclaves and pockets of cities and how to provide that. Um, and then I kind of remembered back into the article that I wrote, uh, that I read in Maxim and uh, started brainstorming on that. And I rushed home that night and searched on Google and on the internet for anyone that offered it. And so no one had that niche. And so it kind of came up that, yeah, it was something interesting, but it was also something that wasn't exploited. So I felt that this was my opportunity to, to start a company and to kind of own a, a niche market like that. Yeah, to be the first of the party, so to speak. Right, and then um, <laughs> basically what to, to further that is I ran a test trip with a bunch of my friends from Notre Dame. Uh, it was, it's really kind of geared towards my group of friends so that my demographics is the target market is that we live in different areas of the country and don't get to see each other. So I planned a trip to West Virginia rafting where we all were able to just fly into one city, came together, um, had a weekend with the pig roast and the rafting. Mountain and the, climbing the, the yet? Mountain climbing, uh, ATVs, off-road, uh, all those type of adventures. Actually, uh, yeah, one of the, the key things is we had started the, the bachelor party and now, as you welcomed me here, as with Hits Adventures, is now I have uh, kind of formed a, a group of companies because I recognized uh, the need for other groups, uh, especially, you know, I have a company now focused on bachelorette parties. I got a lot of flack for not including them, <laughs> um, but I didn't feel that they needed as much planning, so I don't know if that's going to be as huge a market, but some, some of the same adventure trips and even offering additional wine tours and spas, and I've moved into church groups, um, just adventure weekends, corporate events, all forming under the, um, the Hits Adventures brand. It's kind of similar setup as you might envision a, a General Motors where they don't specifically make uh, the car, but the, the under companies of Pontiac uh, and various uh, Chevy are the ones that uh, do the work. Let's talk a little bit about, the, well, the last time that we had you on the show, um, we, we introduced you as Adventure Bachelor Party, and now you've changed the name to Hits Adventures, but Correct. you still have... 
adventure bachelor party. Uh, yeah, as I said, what I, I did was a lot of companies out there, outfitters who might offer similar things. There's, there's not many that offer the same thing I do, which is a, a frustrating thing as it, as it is because to try and come up with that 60 second or 30 second elevator speech for my company can be difficult at times. But what uh, I did was have the adventure bachelor party and then I've launched uh, these other companies that we will talk about and create a Hits Adventures, just a parent company, kind of a back-end corporate thing to handle the accounting and things like that. Um, but I don't want to have a company that says, hi, I'm Hits Adventures, and have footers on my website and say, I do bachelor parties, bachelorette, because that's what a lot of people do. I want to have someone engaged in experience with the website and relationship with all the quotes and the proposals and the communication that say, wow, this is specializing in this area and customizing as opposed to being a Hits Adventures and saying, oh, yeah, we'll do your bachelor party or we'll do your church group, getting right. really focused on it. And, and you're developing your brands around for each of these, correct? Correct, correct. Let's go into talking about some of these. We did talk about the bachelor party, right. but let's, let's talk about the bachelorette party part of it. Is there anything different that you have to do with the bachelorette parties, uh, adventure planning, that was different from the bachelor? Yeah, things? there's slightly. I mean, I think with the, with the guys, that's a good primer to start with because – the women, I think, have a little bit more involvement. The guys, it's, uh, okay, you know, where do I need to be and, you know, what's involved? And, you know, sometimes it may be where am I going to, you know, pass out at. But uh, <laughs> the, with the women, they like to know, you know, what is the restaurant like? What types of food are, am I going to be eating? And I have those things planned, but the guys don't seem to care about what the menu is all the time. So the women, uh, having things like that planned out, what the hotel is understanding, you know, so they can see, you know, the, the layout, uh, the transportation, um, if they need to add spas or some wine tours or things that they don't want to do. If they all of them don't want to go on the skydiving, right. something like that, what's an alternative? So sometimes, although I take time and plan the details out of the trip the same as I do for the gentlemen, uh, the women like to, to know more about that the details of those trips. We want to so know what all the places are like so we know what to pack. Right. Because we're always Exa so concerned. Uh, what should I wear? What should I wear? Exactly. <laughs> so there's just a, just um, presenting some of the material that I have in the background um, for the women.